Hey everybody, today we're going to show you the difference and we're going to test the EMP bag versus the Faraday bag. The EMP bag and the Faraday bag will both protect against a high altitude EMP and they will protect against a solar flare, although small devices not plugged directly into the grid really won't be affected because they don't have the same pulses as a high altitude EMP. The FBI uses Faraday bags to transport cell phones, laptops, other electronics so that no one can gain access to them. With your phone in a Faraday bag, you're going to get no signal in or out, nothing. Nothing's coming in or out. I'll show you with the EMP bag. This is my son's phone. We're going to put the phone in, make sure it's sealed up nice. This will protect against an EMP, but when I call it, I'm going to guess that it's going to ring because we've tested this before. You can feel it vibrating, you can hear it ringing. If you're looking for the more advanced Faraday bag, this is the 5x7 NX3, which we do carry on our site. Fold it over once, like that. Fold it over again. It's ready to go. Let's try to call it again. I'll put my phone on speaker so you can hear that I am indeed calling. And show you. Nothing. Should pick up voicemail any second. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Take it out. It, sometimes it takes a minute to get your cell signal and your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and everything back. And it does show that there's a missed call. But this shows you. That doesn't mean, by the way, that the EMP bag, there's nothing wrong with it. It's perfectly fine if you're going to protect backup devices. Same with the Faraday bag. I keep an extra cell phone, not this one, but I keep an extra smartphone with a USB adapter and I keep thousands of survival manuals. You may have seen that on one of my previous videos. And I keep a solar charger, which I think is a 30,000 mAh. It can recharge by solar. It can recharge your phone about 10 times every time you use it. And I can have access to that material without having to stockpile thousands of books. I mean, who's gonna do that? If you want to be, let's say, I don't really want to give a crazy example, but all right, let's say that you have an ex who is a complete psychopath and you want to not be tracked by that ex, Faraday bag would be the way to go. Drop your device in there, go do what you have to do. No one will know where you were at any time because there is no connection whatsoever. So those are the differences between the EMP bag and the Faraday bag. 